We invest a tremendous amount of time, energy, and money into understanding consumers and, and understanding consumers at, at a, the most intimate level. We go to consumers' homes. We go shopping with consumers. We connect with consumers online. We talk with them on the phone because we really want to get a great sense of what their lives are all about. I'll give you an example. Um, when I ran part of the beauty business, which included uh, CoverGirl and Max Factor and Secret and Old Spice, we uh, actually spent a week living off of a low-income consumer's income. And we, as a, this was a team, what we did is figured out what, what was their budget and then forced ourselves to live that way. And then we went and visited some of the low-income consumers so we could understand more about their lives and how they thought about brands and how they thought about the uh, choices that they had to make. But it just gave us a, a much deeper insight into their lives and the kinds of challenges that they face and then how they viewed our brands. When, when you can connect with consumers and build market share during a time of economic crisis, it really makes your brand stronger and you can get even better once the crisis is over. What consumers are doing during these times is they're evaluating every dollar that they spend. You know, they're making choices, um, and this is where the insights, so for example, as I talked about, uh, some of these insights you get when you live on, you know, a consumer's income. You know, you're making choices between food, gas, electricity, clothes, and so therefore, you need to make some of these everyday choices. Most of our products are everyday products. And so even then, you can make choices. Some people would buy, they'll buy fewer. They'll try to stretch out their, their shampoo or their toothpaste just a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. And so what we have to do is help them understand that our brands are going to be the best and the smartest choices. What's really critical is to sustain things. And in, in good times and bad is to ensure that you keep focused on uh, making your your products better, making consumers' lives better, communicating with consumers and keeping the dialogue going. So, you know, I, I think rather than thinking about it as invest more or less, it's just stay the course. Know your consumer better than anyone. Make sure you know the nuances of your consumer, what that consumer, he or she, loves, hates, needs, desires, how they live, what their interactions are, how they think about your brand, what other things are important. Just understand your consumer deeply and understand your brand. Understand everything about your brand. Understand its entire life. How was it started? What were the insights behind it? What were the its good times and bad times? When did it really take off? When did it go off the rails? Those kinds of things. Get, get to know your brand because when you know your consumer and your brand, really well, better than anyone, that does allow you to lead the way.